Video of George Allen Kelly's interrogation shows what he told detectives the night he was arrested. Kelly faces second degree murder for the shooting death of Gabriel Butamea in January of last year. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace explains from Nat Gallus what Kelly admitted to and how he and his wife view this trial as it completes its third week. George Allen Kelly admits to firing his rifle the day he found Gabriel Quinn Buitamea shot to death, but says he didn't point the gun at anyone. There's some inconsistencies with your story. The story you, some statements you made on. I'm 74 years old. I'm saying I might be confused. Can you let me finish, please? I'll let you talk. Can you let me finish now? Okay. Okay. So, there is inconsistencies with your story right now. What I've been told by deputies on scene, what you said or and what you told by the Okay, you just admit it right now that you shot. Yeah. At the running subject. I did not shoot you. at him, I shot over your head. It doesn't matter. You shot towards them. Whether you shot over their heads or not, you're shooting towards them. Okay? All right? Mm -hmm. You shoot straight up in the air. It doesn't matter. You shot towards the direction over their heads. Yeah. You sure you're going to educate them at him? Yeah. Put the, put the yeah. the you shot at them. Not at them. I shot over their heads. Same difference. I don't, I don't agree. Okay, well, your actions killed someone. Kelly faces second degree murder for the shooting death of Gabriel Quinn Witemea on January 30th, 2023. He was originally arrested for first degree murder. Detective Jorge Ainsa is saying Kelly knew what he was doing and called it reckless. Kelly's defense attorney said it does not make sense that Kelly shot Witemea because he would have been firing at people who ran farther away from where Witemea was found. The jury visited Kelly's ranch yesterday, which he says doesn't bother him. Mr. Kelly, how'd you feel about all those strangers walking around on your property yesterday, having the jury out there? I, I, the jury was welcome to be out there. They were welcome. All everybody was out there was welcome. It's been a long journey. It's um, seems like we're stuck in a time warp. You know, I'd be glad to get it over with so we can move on with our lives. A time warp that started last year on January 30th. Correct. It's been holding pattern ever since. That holding pattern could last at least another week. The judge prepared the jury for this trial lasting longer than expected, possibly into the week after next. In Nogales, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.